What's up everyone, Dr. Jacob Wilson here, the Muscle PhD, and we're talking about a really interesting question, which is, is insulin anabolic? Well, you know me, I like giving you a, a quick answer, and the answer is yes, insulin is anabolic. But the question is, how much do you need to maximize anabolism, okay? Okay, so the first study he's looking at was insulin anabolic. Basically what they did was, they kind of gave something that lowered insulin in the blood, okay? So like an insulin antagonist. So you lower insulin in the blood, okay? And then you slowly titrate it up. And what they saw was that insulin would increase protein synthesis kind of in a linear fashion, but then it kind of plateaued off. Well, why is that the case? Um, <clears throat> it's interesting to note that when it plateaued off, was basically slightly above fasting levels. What that basically means is that if I lower insulin to below fasting levels, it's going to lower anabolism. But as soon as I eat a normal meal, I'm going to raise insulin, and I'll be anabolic. I'll kind of be maxing out the what we call physiological effects of insulin. Okay. So the next question is, well, if insulin is even a little anabolic, don't I need carbs to stimulate it? Well, the answer is no, you don't. Okay. Because if you drink protein, if, for example, if I eat whey, it simulates plenty of insulin, okay? Just like, um, just like carbohydrates will. So the fact of the matter is, yes, insulin is anabolic, but really in a physiological range, which means that's what you're going to get with a normal meal, okay? Now, what, what happens is this. A lot of people will think that, well, if insulin is anabolic, then I should go and have, you know, like, I used to like drinking Tang. I mean, that's old school. So like post-workout, I would have like Tang and stuff like that. It's real tart, tangy and stuff like that. And it was sugar. So I thought, I'm going to have a big anabolic insulin response. It's going to make me grow, okay? But it didn't really do that because the studies show that it doesn't do that. And it kind of just makes you insulin resistant. Now, the next question you might go is, well, why do bodybuilders take insulin then? They seem to be getting huge. And actually, if you look at like the 1980s bodybuilding and you see that huge burst where bodybuilders started being off season 300 pounds on stage at 270, how did that happen? Well, a lot of that is they, were, they introduced like insulin and growth hormone and they were able to eat a lot more and they grew more. Well, didn't this contradict what I'm saying? No, because studies show that insulin at supra-physiological levels can do two things. A, it can decrease protein synthesis, or B, it can increase it. What do I mean? Well, studies which show, show this. Insulin drives amino acids into the muscle, and, that, and it drives blood flow to the muscle, okay? So if I take supra-physiological levels, I can drive amino acids at a very high level, but then they drop. So if, if basically, if I'm not consuming enough protein, then doing that is not going to be anabolic. But if I have massive amounts of protein like these bodies are doing, and I took super physiological amounts of insulin, yeah, it would be anabolic. But of course, that has a lot of side effects, right? Like a huge gut, you know what I mean? Um, that, that combination I talked about, the growth hormone insulin, a huge gut, not as symmetrical. There's a lot of problems that come with it. And I'm not certainly not recommending that, but I am answering the question, is insulin anabolic? In a physiological range with a normal meal, yes. To get more anabolism above that, you're talking about the enhanced athlete. Okay, so thank you so much, guys. I'll see you next time.